Hey guys, how's it going? It is Brett here from WebTech with Brett. Now today I am going to be showing you guys how you can add a favy icon to your website. I'm not sure if it's fav icon, favy icon. I don't know. It's, it's this one here that pops up at the top of your browsers and also in your search results. All right, so off the bat, we are going to figure out, first of all, what is a favy icon? All right, so as you can see here, I'm on my website. Now, a favy icon is this little icon you have here in the corner. So if we zoom in a bit, just to give you guys a better view here, it is this icon that's up in the corner of your site. Now, you may be wondering why is this important? This is important because it gives your site a form of identity. You can obviously see we've got multiple up here. So we've got our search console and we've got our main site. We've got the dashboard, but currently we are stuck on the Joomla default Favi icon. So as you can see here as well, in your Google search results, you do have these icons pulling through. As you can see, LinkedIn, YouTube, everything or every website should have its own custom Fabi icon. These are ways to identify your brand, make you stand out, and also it will work positively for you for the user experience of your users. So when we have multiple tabs up in our browser available, you can see them here. So here is an example of a website that has a correct Fabi icon. This is my other website um, and business that I run. So obviously this is kind of what we want to see on every website. And when we click into here, you're gonna be able to notice up the top of the page which website is which. So when we have multiple tabs, it's gonna be very easy. And so just a quick recap. The Favi icon is used for brand recognition. So it helps to serve as a visual representation of your brand. Um, while it appears in your bookmarks, browser history, and professionalism and credibility. So having this icon on your website can give your users more of a feeling of trust and credibility in your brand it obviously shows that you're a well established and that you seem like a legitimate business user experience so you got to think about this one and the fact that when users have multiple tabs open and i mean some people will have like 50 60 tabs you want to be able to give the user the best experience where they're able to essentially find your brand easier faster Anything that can benefit a user is going to benefit you, it's going to benefit your business and benefit your SEO, which is the next one. So Google pretty much runs so many algorithms which help determine ranking factors. One of them could be, or probably is, is brand recognition. So having a credible brand with a great user experience, it's just something that you can do that will help your search presence. But as long as you keep consistency amongst platforms and brands and everything that you use it for, then I guarantee it will be really good for you. And lastly, we're just throwing in that cross device consistency. If you're in an iPhone and you are basically um, saving a web page as an app on the desktop, often the apps will use the Fabi icon as the icon to use on these devices. So definitely um, a good reason to have it with your branding it will help people if um people save your websites on their devices that they're going to be able to find them same for your bookmark bars and everything else it's just very important next we want to look at the format of your fabi icon now generally back in the day a lot of these used to just be iso files and it was pretty hard to usually get an iso file but um what you could always do and what you used to do back in the day is you used to be able to just search um an iso generator upload your PNG and generally those would do it. Now, this will work for any CMS that you're doing. So I'm gonna show you in Joomla because we have specifically specifically had that requested from someone. But if you are in WordPress, I'm gonna show you basically three ways that you can do it. Number one, we're gonna upload this via FTP. Two, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the template. Three, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a plugin. And actually four, Actually for, as a quick bonus, I'm also gonna show you guys how you can do it on WordPress because it's a lot simpler on WordPress. All right, so here we go. We are currently on the desktop and I'm gonna show you how to upload it via FTP. The Favi icon in Joomla is there, but this is the one we downloaded up in the corner here. So the first thing we're gonna do is extract this. Now, as you can see here, we've got all of our icon files. 
Now there isn't really a difficult way to do this. All you need to do is make sure you're in your public HTML folder or your base directory. This should be the one on Joomla where you see the configuration file. And realistically, all we have to do is we can copy all these files. I'll leave the site manifest one. But if we copy the, this main one here, this Favi icon one, it's the only one that's gonna be important. So if I drag and drop that, this technically should update the Favi icon on here. So if you are using a caching platform, be sure to clear your cache. Still hasn't updated our Favi icon. So we know that this isn't gonna work. Generally speaking for a lot of HTML sites, this will work. So now we go to the next part as we go into our templates, our theme, and we're gonna try upload it here. So again, we drag our Favi icon into there, clear our cache and refresh the site. All right, so as you can see, what we've done has not worked. Now, the reason is because we are using the Casio theme. Cas we are, you, you know, I'm, I'm never gonna get it, but we are using the default Joomla theme. Now the default Joomla theme, unfortunately has these set specifically in the index.php file of your template. So there are basically a couple ways you can do it. In here, you can go into your FTP section of the site. This is under your public HTML media system um, images, and you can replace these images in here. But ideally, that's not the right way to do it. That one potentially could get replaced when you update the site. So what we're gonna do is under our child theme template, and we're gonna open up our index.php file here. Basically here, we've got the file. And as you can see, we've got these three lines of code here that are essentially HTML helpers that have been specifically set that will add the Favi icon links to the top of the site. Now we could ideally just change these, but we're not going to, because we've already dragged our files in through FTP. So what we're gonna do is pretty much close those off just comment them out don't want them um, now be sure if you are doing this make sure that you first create a child theme of your website now be sure if you, if you need to know how to do it it is super super simple go watch my child theme video you're going to want to do that first it's going to pretty much solve all your issues it means when the theme updates nothing's going to get overridden it's just standard practice. Now back up here, again, we're going to give that a nice control F5. And as you can see, our Favi icon has changed in the corner. Maybe hard for you guys to see, but we will just zoom that in. Now, if you don't have access to FTP, I'm gonna show you how you can do this in your admin dashboard. Now, if we go into system, you're gonna to want to go into site template styles. Now these are your templates. You guys are not gonna to wanna to click here, but you're gonna to want to click here. So once we click there on our template and you can see all your template files in here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where it says index.php. Now under here, you're gonna be able to edit the code. And again, these are the lines that you're going to want to remove, or you can just comment them out. Um, and then you're gonna go save and close. Now, I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, but basically we've revered the changes and now we're going to add in a Favi icon using a plugin. All right, as you can see up the top, um, our Favi icon is back to normal. So what we're gonna do is search Favi icon Joomla plugin, just whatever we can do. And let's see, we got Favi icon by Michael. Like we'll, we'll just go with whatever one we can get. That's only compatible with Joomla 3. We're not gonna use that one. We're gonna try this one. Um, Joomla 4. Okay, you're gonna want to find one anyway that has Joomla 4. So we'll have a look at this one here. Again, I'm just, I'm not advertising for any of these people. I'm just searching the Joomla dashboard and pretty much finding just one that will work. That is not a very good plugin. It doesn't even do the trick. All right, it's quite possible we won't find a plugin that works here. Um, so I'm not gonna go through and test all of these. However, um, if you guys do have the time, definitely go through and do it. I am gonna show you basically one more way to do it. 
This time we're not gonna be using Joomla because Joomla can be more complicated. What we're gonna do is show you how you can do this in WordPress. Now it should be very easy and actually, to be honest, it's gonna be way easier than Joomla because they literally have a built into everything. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, thanks for staying this long. Now, if you are a WordPress user, here is how you can update your fav icon in WordPress. Now, it's very easy. We are here under appearances and themes. So what you're gonna to want to do is, first of all, log into your WordPress dashboard. That will be under wp-admin or whatever site you're using. You may have to log in through the wordpress.com. Um, but all you're gonna to have to do is go customize. Now, most themes will have something here on the side called site identity. And down here, they're gonna have a little box called site icon. And it's super easy. All you have to do is click change image and just upload it here. This could be anything from a PNG, um, an SVG. Most formats do work with WordPress. So yeah, look, how easy was that? I'm not gonna change it because obviously my icon's already set, but man, way, way simpler than Joomla. Yeah, so that pretty much does it. Now, be sure, if you guys do need to figure out how to create a child thing, then you're gonna wanna watch this video right here. What are you waiting for? It's right there. Just, just watch away. Also comment down below, like the video, subscribe, whatever.